Glory to Jesus Christ. Today is a special day for us because we celebrate our patron, patron of our church, patron of our parish, Holy Bishop Nicholas. And it might be good to somehow remind ourselves how this happened, how this saints becomes patron of parish, church. When there is a decision that church is going to be built, at first, bishop comes and he prays in the land where nothing is there. He prays over the land when this plain, there is no building, before even the church or foundational church is put to the ground. And in this prayer, he asks about several things. At first, he does exorcism. He makes this piece of land free of evil powers. And then he asks God to separate this place from the world. May this place can become part of his kingdom, a place when he's going to dwell among people. When church is all ready, building is ready, so Bishop comes for dedication of the church, blessing of the church. And among these prayers, and many prayers, he says during this dedication, this blessing of the new church, in one prayer is request to God for an angel guardian for this place. He asked God to assign angel for the church. And the same way as we all have our own angels guardians, even each church has own angel guardian. I remember a story from Mount Athos. There was one monk who lived on the steep mountain. There was a chapel there and a little hut when he lived. He lived solitude, uh, life in a solitude. And when he became very old, other monks, they came and they said, well, Father, come down to monastery. It will be easier for us to take care of you. And he said, give me a week. I will be praying for that. When they returned back after one week and they were ready to take him down to monastery when he would have easier life there, they were surprised because he told them, I prayed all week. And I was asking God what I'm supposed to do. And he said, when one evening I was praying for hours, suddenly I saw an angel sitting on the this place here, right side of the chapel, and he asked me, do you want me to stay alone here? And he said, I cannot leave, because angel of this church want me to stay. They found him several weeks later dead. He was found on the other side of the church, in the, the small pew there, in a position which says that he was praying and he was looking directly on the other side. This angel guardian is assigned to us, to our parish, to protect all those who are inscribed in parish. This angel is bringing our requests 
in front of God's throne. And then Bishop continues in prayers and there is another one when he asked God to put this church under care of a saint or sometimes of Christ himself for it autocos. And this official moment when church is dedicated to a saint, when church gets a patron. It is that this moment when church and all those who will be attending the church will be given to the special care of that saint. Our parish and all people who are inscribed here and all who come here are coming and they have, should be aware of the special care of Saint Bishop Nicholas, who is our patron. And we have to be thankful to previous generation who made this decision, who wanted Saint Nicholas to be our patron, because we know from the history that he is powerful and makes a lot of miracles. This is why we should come to the church and to be aware of all those three things. The first thing is that we should see this place as a place it was taken out of, from the world. We should this place as a place which was dedicated to God and to his kingdom, place which is free from evil powers, place when we are protected in this world. This is why churches who were dedicated in this way have this special atmosphere have this special power when we enter in. This is place for, this is like this safe haven for us and we should come often to this haven to receive grace after grace from God. This is place when we join saints and angels in worshiping of God. This is place like here during liturgy when these doors are symbol what is really happening that heaven and earth are connected in one worship when we worship together with God. You can see altar servers, they carry this lipidias this round fans or whatever. And it, there are usually there is like there is a symbol of this procession of angels who are joining them in this procession with gospel, with holy gifts. A special place. And this is why we are as a church we are so thankful for everybody who helps to keep this holy place alive. Not only through attendance, but through care. In many ways, through your donations, through your care about many practical things. And this is why church prays like during liturgies, like four times. Church prays for each founder, and benefactor of this holy place. We should remember our angel guardian of our church when we enter in. And we should have this hope because angels are powerful and there are friends who were given us to help us to go to heaven. They are not given us to enjoy this life. They are given us to lead us to heaven, to salvation. 
So we should greet this angel who is non-stop here to help those who are coming in. And we should never, we should never forget to greet our patron, Holy Bishop Nicholas. And we should come to him with requests for his care and help. because he's powerful. I just remind the story I told you before from my family. When my grandfather as a young man and father of three kids was taken by Russian communists to Siberia to jail because he, somebody falsely reported him. He said that there were thousands, thousands of people who were traveling there in a train there to this, this camp. And he said half of them died during the way there. And he said, we were trying to like take each piece of, of, of grass to steal, to, to eat because we were starving there and dying every day, many people died. And he was praying to God and he made promise that, well, oh Lord, if you save me from this camp, from this jail, if you bring me back home to my wife and to my kids, I will give you one my son to your service. And then he was praying to Saint Nicholas because at, in his parish it was like strong this devotion to Saint Nicholas. And his wife was praying home too and again to Saint Nicholas too. And one night she was telling me the story that it was December 5th and usually, at the time, evening, kids were getting small gifts as a remembrance of this goodness of Holy Bishop Nicholas. But she couldn't give them anything because she didn't have anything. And kids were asking where my, our father will come back home. <coughs> and she told them, it's feast of Saint Nicholas. Ask him. He always brings good gifts. And she said that she was feeling not well because she said, I'm trying to lie. To... But she put hope. Before midnight, somebody was knocking at the door and my grandfather returned back. This journey back was really amazing, but I don't have time to tell you that. If we are tuned to God, if we really believe there is heaven filled with saints who try to help us, we can ask with courage for help and that help will come. This is important when we come here and we have so powerful patron. Don't forget to, to tell him about things you have on your heart. Don't forget to ask because he was given to us as a gift from God to be with us and help us to go to heaven. But be careful because God can make changes in your life, good changes. Like this, my grandfather, he was offering one son to, 
to God, you know, you can take my son to your service. So God took both of his sons. They became priests. His daughter became wife of priests, my mother. And then his grandchildren went to seminary. And he was praying nonstop for us. And even he was very weak. He has this He has this understanding that I'm not going to die yet. I will die until last of these grandsons will become priests. And that year, a uh, year after my brother's cons uh, ordination, he died and my brother, his youngest grandson, gave him anointing and absolution a few minutes before his death. If we ask to this courage, this hope, this faith to heaven, heaven answers. So let's today when we celebrate this feast of our church or our parish, let's try to remember that. Let's have this zeal to come here very often to this place which was dedicated to God, which God made through His grace blessed place on earth, safe haven, refuge for us. Pray to our angel guardian of our parish. And always turn to Saint Bishop Nicholas for help. And be sure that our requests are good, that we are searching eternal goods, not some funny earthly things. If we start to do this, your life will be filled with miracles. Amen.